All right, what's up guys? So we're now into the late summer season of the year. And that means that winter trap shooting off season for all of us competitive ATA shooters, most of us, except for those of you in the deep, deep south, we're going to be having a little bit of an off season. So I want to talk about what you can do to help prepare yourself physically for a new season. This is a trap shooting workout video. We'll see you in a second. Alright, so I think that working out in trap shooting can be an underutilized thing. And as somebody that is a fitness lover, I really enjoy working out and I do more than just these exercises I'm going to mention today, but these are good ones that I think you can learn from in order to become a better shooter. These are areas that are going to target you as a shooter. So they're going to target your arms, your shoulder, and your back. I feel like that is the areas that we use the most as trap shooters because that's the areas that's going to take the most wear and tear. So that's the ones that we want to spend a lot of time on. So. I think that you'll benefit from this video because it's going to help you prepare for a new season and also get better right now because durability and stamina are both very key to shooting, especially whenever you get and it's 110 degrees outside. Whenever you start shooting 110 degrees, like here in Arkansas a lot of times, it gets really hot. And if you're shooting off and you're shooting on long days, it can get tiring if you're not in good shape. So let's go ahead and talk about these exercises today. And the first one that I want to mention is with dumbbells and just doing a simple curl. Now these are 10 pound dumbbells and I do have other ones. Um, I have a 20 pound dumbbell and some Bowflex uh, stuff that I like to use. But just doing curls, you know, that's going to help your biceps and your forearms, even your wrists a little bit. And it's going to strengthen all those areas that you use mainly for holding the gun like this, especially on your forearm hand that can take a beating a lot of times. You know, we have recoil reduction systems for our shoulder, not for our forearm hand. This forearm hand, believe it or not, actually takes a tremendous amount of beating over several shells that you shoot. So if you can strengthen the wrist, the bicep, the elbow, and the forearm all on one exercise, then go ahead and go for it. You know, this is a great one. Next one I want to talk about is push-ups. So push-ups are a very good exercise. Uh, I think this may be a little bit advanced if you're not somebody that's in really good physical shape. Um, maybe the curls are going to be a better way to start. But if you're somebody that is in fairly good shape, then the push-ups can definitely help you strengthen your shoulders, your back, your biceps, your forearms, your wrists, all, all those muscles. I mean, the push-ups are great for your core. And, and for your you know for your arms I mean they're, they're a really good exercise for helping build strength in those things and one of the things you can do if you're somebody that is kind of new to working out new to push-ups is you can take these dumbbells and you can put them on the floor and you can do push-ups on those if you're somebody that's really new to working out one thing I would recommend is just go to a wall like this and then just start doing push-ups like that and just bring your body towards the wall and then push back up I know that's going to seem pretty simple and pretty new but I think that's something that can help you work into doing a push-up and really work up to that. The next one is crunches. I know these are all pretty basic but if, just doing crunches I mean it's great for your back, it's great for your core, your abs. Um, these are all areas that are going to take some pounding over the course of a shooting season so doing that is really good as well. Next one I want to talk about is dislocates. So shoulder dislocations. So this is one that I want to be very careful with because you, you really you need to go slow on this one I guess is what I'm saying you you basically are going to take a bar like this one and you're going to put your hands on here like this so I have my hand just facing out my palm towards the ground and I'm going to take it and I'm going to put my one hand here and I'm going to put one hand on the other end and then I'm going to take this bar over my head and notice how I kind of keep my elbows straight there. I'm not bending them like this. I'm going to keep it straight as far as back as I can and then I'm going to come down very slowly and then come back up and then go forward all the way. This is a great, great exercise for shoulder flexibility 
and mobility. I mean, whenever I had my rotator cuff injury, this exercise really, really helped me, and I very, very highly recommend that you get started on this one if you're a shooter. Um, you may have your hands all the way out here. You know, if you're somebody that's new, if you're more of a veteran, you may be able to come all the way in here. It just depends on your level of flexibility and how much you work out, how flexible those shoulders are and everything. But this is a great one for you to be doing. That's all the exercises that I want to bring up. These are just some basic ones that you can get started with. If you master these, these are going to be really good for you as a shooter, helping to improve your stamina, helping to improve your durability, reduce your risk of injuries, and also increase your longevity, I feel like. You know, I feel like this is going to help increase your longevity as a shooter in the years that you're going to be able to shoot because of the wear and tear on your shoulders and stuff. So if you can keep your body in great physical shape, use these exercises to help boost that. So if you're somebody that's working out routinely, you might add these in to be able to assist in targeting specific areas. If you're somebody totally new, you may get started on doing some of these and taking them slowly and working your way up. Either way, I hope these helped you out. You can subscribe to my channel here. You can check out a couple more videos here, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.